Good morning to you too. <laughs> She's a noisy girl. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys what I've done so far. The watermelons are slowly dying back. My pumpkins are growing out wonderfully. I got a lonely corn that just popped up on its own. And I still have not weeded right here where the cantaloupe and watermelon is, but I did put cabbage in this one and in that one see the watermelon growing up on the fence they go wild and my cardboard is doing its job it's killing the grass I weeded yesterday for a very long time in the morning, of course, before it got too hot. And I wanted to tell you guys, this black stuff on the ground is actually roofing material that I put down so the weeds won't grow in between the rows. Alright, so I'm trying to replant some peas. I I do see it coming up a little bit here and there, but here's all the tomatoes and the beets. Late, late, late in the season, we'll see how they do. The green beans, I think I did plant more green beans because I just, I just want more green beans. <laughs> I think we still have enough time. Here is the cayenne peppers. Look at those boys, they're big. Okay, and then there's the red bell peppers. And jalapenos. See this watermelon plant growing up onto the fence? That is why I keep saying don't grow it with your other stuff because it will choke out any other plant. So um, right here, right here, and right there, excuse my nails, they're all messed up. I got Brussels sprouts. In here I got rutabaga and weeds that have already grown up from last week. It happens so fast. My tomato plants that have come up on their own from probably a tomato that fell. And I think I see cilantro coming up. And I there's my pile of weeds that I did. I like to let it sit there and kind of like break down a little bit before putting the trash because it just takes up too much room but here's the bell pepper babies see them I think that's probably about the biggest they're going to get and the other one on the other side is turning yellow because they're supposed to be sweet bell peppers that one is making new and I believe that's a cayenne right there. No. That's a bell pepper too. And my cherry tomato plants are done. I just was waiting for them to still ripen up the rest of the fruit. Maybe next week I will be pulling them out. Right here I got lettuce growing. Lettuce and beets. And this is the last row right here that I have to do with the weeding and the pruning. But I prune those babies good because the leaves are starting to die. But you know what I do noticed? I did notice that 
the zucchinis are doing a lot better this second half of the summer than they did in the in the beginning of the summer. In the beginning of the summer, see how green they are? I really didn't take that much off. But see this here? All this on this plant that I didn't prune? All, all The whole plant looked like that. So I'm not sure. I am going to be planting more in the buckets or the baskets that I didn't put any in it, any yet. This one, that one, and then I'm going to get some more ready to put in the ground. Like start them in the pot. I have a zucchini plant right here and I have more um, cabbage that needs to go over there and look at all these tomatoes I still don't know what I'm going to do with them something ate my kale R.I.P. kale if some come up I'll be surprised if the peas don't come up then I have peas here I can transplant they look nice and healthy here I got more peppers I got pepperoncinis and stuff and then I also started right here in this green one different types of lettuce because we know the fall is coming soon so you guys have a blessed day and uh, I'll see you next time